Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In the intricate tapestry of modern military aviation, the F-35 stands as a pinnacle of technological advancement, a culmination of decades of progressive research and collaboration. This formidable aircraft emerged from the Joint Strike Fighter Program, an ambitious amalgamation of various combat aircraft initiatives tracing back to the 1980s and 1990s. One notable predecessor, the Defensive Advanced Research Projects Agency Advanced Short Takeoff Vertical Landing Project, ran from 1983 to 1994. Estovil's mission was to conceptualize a successor to the Harrier jump jet for the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.K. Royal Navy. Marking its inaugural flight in 2006, the F-35 swiftly transitioned from concept to cornerstone of modern air power. The F-35 manifests in three distinct variants, each designed for specific operational environments. The F-35A, the conventional takeoff and landing CTOL variant, represents the standard model, engineered for traditional runways and fulfilling the requirements of various air forces including the United States Air Force. In contrast, the F-35B caters to more specialized needs with its short takeoff and vertical landing, Stovall abilities, making it an ideal fit for the U.S. Marine Corps, which often operates in more confined or improvised airstrips. Lastly, the F-35C, the carrier-based variant, has been meticulously adapted for CV Cato Bar, catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery operations, primarily serving the U.S. Navy. This variant boasts larger wings and more robust landing gear allowing it to excel in the demanding environment of aircraft carrier operations. Each of these versions embodies the essence of the F-35's design philosophy, versatility, advanced technology, and adaptability to various combat scenarios. As we delve deeper into the F-35's capabilities, a critical aspect of its prowess lies in its armament. The fusion of advanced aviation technology and formidable weaponry makes the F-35 a quintessential multi-role combat aircraft. Central to its arsenal is the 25mm GAU-22 A4 barrel rotary cannon, equipped with a cache of 180 rounds, exemplifying precision and power in aerial combat. The F-35's design incorporates a sophisticated balance between stealth and firepower. It features a combination of four internal stations and six external stations on its wings. This arrangement enables a dual approach to weaponry, maintaining a lower profile with an internal payload capacity of 5,700 pounds or maximizing firepower with an external load of up to 15,000 pounds. culminating in a total weapons payload potential of 18,000 pounds. 
The aircraft's versatility is further highlighted in its ability to carry an array of munitions suited for a wide range of mission profiles. In the realm of air-to-air -air combat, the F-35 is equipped with a range of missiles, including the AIM-9X Sidewinder, the Advanced AIM-120 AMRAM, the AIM-132 ASRAM, and the future-ready AIM-260 JATAM, which is slated for integration. The MBDA Meteor, another formidable addition, is set for integration into the F-35B's arsenal by 2027. For air-to-surface engagements, the F-35 can be outfitted with missiles like the AGM-88G Argum-ER, AGM-158 JASM, AGM-179 JAGM, and the in-development Spear-3 all of which bolster its ground attack capabilities. The stand-in attack weapon, SIAW, adds another layer to its offensive potential. In the domain of anti-ship warfare, the F-35 is being enhanced with the integration of the AGM-158C al Razm and the Joint Strike Missile, amplifying its maritime strike ability. The aircraft's bomb suite includes the Joint Direct Attack Munition, Paveway, and an array of precision-guided glide bombs, like the AGM-154JSO, GBU-39 small diameter bomb, and the GBU-53B Stormbreaker. Notably, the F-35 is also being certified to carry the B-61 Mod-12 nuclear bombs, making a significant expansion in its strategic role. This diverse array of weapons, combined with the F-35's advanced targeting and ammunition loading systems, positions it as a formidable force in modern aerial warfare, capable of engaging a wide spectrum of targets in varied combat scenarios. To push the boundaries of proficiency and efficiency, the F-35 participates in weapons load competitions, a testament to the rigorous training and skill of its maintenance crews. These competitions are more than mere contests. They are high-stakes challenges that simulate real-world scenarios, demanding precision, speed, and teamwork. In these events, crews are tasked with loading an array of munitions, from standard missiles to complex bomb systems, under time constraints and meticulous scrutiny. One of the defining features of the F-35, particularly pertinent to its stealth capabilities, is the innovative design of its internal weapons bay. This aspect of the aircraft is crucial for maintaining its low observable, LO, or stealthy signature during missions. When stealth is paramount, the F-35 can carry its entire armament internally, a strategic choice that significantly reduces its radar cross-section compared to external carriage. The weapons bay ingeniously crafted, allows for the concealment of substantial firepower. Each bay is capable of housing a payload as substantial as a 2,000-pound bomb along with an air-to-air -air missile.
While the F-35 represents the pinnacle of modern stealth technology, the AC-130U embodies a different philosophy of air power, one that prioritizes overt dominance and support. Operated by the Air Force Special Operations Command, its role is markedly different, yet equally critical. AC-130U's primary mission of close air support, air interdiction, and armed reconnaissance shows its pivotal role in providing direct, powerful support to ground forces. Unlike the F-35, which is designated for stealthy engagements and rapid strikes, the AC-130U is renowned for its formidable firepower, including some of the largest guns mounted on any aircraft. As the AC-130 gunship takes to the skies, its cockpit transforms into a vital nexus of coordination and precision. Within this confined space, the navigation, fire control, and electronic warfare systems merge, orchestrating a symphony of strategic operations. The pilot, alongside aerial gunners and combat system officers, engages in a seamless ballet of collaboration. Each maneuver and decision is meticulously aligned with the mission's objectives, ensuring that the advanced technological capabilities of the aircraft are harmonized with the crew's expertise. This fusion within the cockpit doesn't just drive the aircraft, it orchestrates a strategic command center guiding the AC-130 toward its operational objectives with unparalleled precision and effectiveness. Moving from the specialized AC-130 gunship, we encounter a novel approach in aerial combat, the Rapid Dragon program, which revolutionizes the use of unmodified cargo planes like the C-130 or C-17. This modular deployment system, exemplified by the Rapid Dragon program, epitomizes flexibility and adaptability in payload configuration, catering to diverse mission requirements. This pivotal event took place over the Andoya Space Defense Range in Norway on November 9th, 2022, marking a significant milestone in the U.S. European Command Theater. The demonstration involving the loading of these advanced systems onto aircraft for both testing and training purposes underscored the practical applicability and potential of Rapid Dragon. This exercise not only validated the system's effectiveness in a real-world setting, but also highlighted the seamless integration and cooperation between different wings of the Air Force, paving the way for enhanced combat readiness and tactical flexibility in future missions. From the remarkable versatility and stealth of the F-35 to the formidable firepower of the AC-130 gunship, and finally, to the innovative Rapid Dragon palletized munition system, we've journeyed through a spectrum of cutting-edge aerial warfare technology. Each system with its unique capabilities and strategic applications, highlights the continuous evolution and sophistication of military aviation. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it.
make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.